Okay, knee pain, knee pain while you're walking. That's what we're going to address. Bummer. We're going to show you some options, some exercises to get rid of that knee pain, and also the forgotten exercise that most people wow. don't know. But as therapists, and we'll show you the little trick that you can do at home. Hold on, nine seconds. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Now, I do want to mention, Bob, and Bob is on board with me. If 100%. you have pain while you're walking, it's getting very uncomfortable. First thing you need to do is take the pressure off it by using a cane. Yep. Or uh, a walking stick. Or a walking stick. If the right knee hurts, you're going to have the stick or the cane in the left hand, and you're going to walk with that. And if your pain is at an 8 over 10 walking without the cane, when you use a cane, it's probably going to go down to like a 2 or a right. 3. And, and it's, not, it's not permanent. Right. It just uh, takes the pressure off it, allows the knee pain and the inflammation to settle down. Once it calms down, you can get rid of the cane. Right. Well, at the same time, while you're using the cane, you're going to do these exercises right. as well. Uh, so that will help. The first one we're going to do is check your range of motion. We need to look particularly knee extension. I'll cover the extension okay. first. Sure. So if you, this is your sore knee, and this is your good knee, and this one straightens out all the way, and this one, and you check it next to each other, you can see there's an obvious gap, or even a little one. You want to get that knee to fully extend or straighten. Uh, so you can do it like Bob and I sitting on the edge of a chair works nice. Pressure on, pressure off. Yep. Push don't, above the knee. Yep. Don't get real aggressive if it's sharp pain. Be gentle with it. This may take a few days. Do it three times a day, 10 repetitions. Now you can rotate your toe or the leg this way, and then try to straighten it. Might feel better. Yep. And then you can go this direction. And Again, might feel better. Do which one gives you the best range or feels the best, okay? Now, you also want to check knee flexion. Probably not quite as important as uh, extension with walking, but mm. it's nice to stretch it this way. And you can just do it like this. Slouch in the chair. It's one time we allow slouching. And stretch that knee. Again, compare the two knees. Yep. One might feel tighter. Yes, exactly. And get them so they're equal. All right. Okay, once you get your knee loosened up, the range of motion is looking good. The quadricep muscle is more than likely weak, and we need to strengthen that. Bob's Most got, important muscle. Yes, Bob's yeah. got the first option you, we recommend. Put a pillow underneath the knee, and you're going to push down, press the back of the knee into the bed. Right. The pillow. Hold into the bed or pillow. Yep. And you can do this. Hold for 10 seconds. Sitting on a couch, you can do it lying in bed. Uh, but like Bob says, hold for 10 seconds, 10 repetitions. Now, this is the little secret I was talking to about that when you're walking, we want to get that quadricep to be strong, well, upright. And stable. Yes. So you do need to have something stretchy, a stretch band. Most of the time, they have these little clips or carabiners, wrap it around the t leg of a table and clip them together so you have that. You're going to put your foot in there like this, and it's going to go right in the crux of the knee, okay? And make sure you have something to hold on to if you need to for balance. Now you're going to put weight into this leg, maybe not full weight bearing to start with. You're going to bend the knee, and then you're going to straighten it, and the band is going to offer resistance to get that muscle strength and straighten it all the way straight. And again, 10 repetitions. If it's too easy, simply take a step back, and it'll get harder. 10 repetitions there with weight simulates walking uh, much better than Fantastic. the next thing. Okay, now the next one, as you get stronger... There's two ways to do this. One thing you need is a wall. Most people have that. Put your back up against the wall. Bring your feet shoulder width apart or more. Make sure you have grippy feet, shoes, or in this case, my socks, grip onto the carpet well because you don't want your feet to slip out because we're going to squat down and do some wall squats. Now, you can go down like this and hold an isometric. For right, a, either yep, way. Yep, about eight seconds. You can 1,001, 1,002, up to eight. Do three to five of those. Um, or you can take a ball that's squishy and make sure you feel comfortable with this. 
have something to hold on to, and then you can just do what I call ball wall squats. Hot. Yep, five to ten of those. You can use a physio ball too if you want. Yep, the great big one. I know a lot of people don't have. They're a little harder to get behind you, but right. I, I've done it with many people. All right, we're going to go on to the next set. All right, lastly but not leastly, this is something that I've had many, many people with knee pain do. They say it hurts when I get up and walk, especially those first 30, 40 steps. As I say, before you stand up, do some long arc quads or kicks. So you simply get your knee at about a 90 degree and kick it up nice and straight and bring it back down and simply do 10 of those. Don't just flip them out like this. Do them meaningfully. It's going to take a little bit of time, not much, five or 10 seconds. And do that. And almost always they say, you know, that makes it feel better when I get up and walk. My mom is having this very problem. Okay. So I, and just, she's, she's doing these? Right. Well, I'm going to check on her this weekend. Oh, good. Excellent. Now, if you have a job that you sit long hours right. of the day, Absolutely. you'll want to do those throughout the day. The other option you can have that works well is if you've got a shiny floor, you take your shoe off and you can slide back and forth. If you want to go one step further than that, because you'll wear your socks out, uh, and you want to have something like this, it's called a knee glide, and you put your foot on there, and it just glides back and forth very nicely. A big advantage of the knee glide is... One, it's, it's very light, it's only three pounds, and it works well. And then you can put it at an angle, changes things a little bit. And very I, helpful after a knee replacement. Yeah, that, that too. Or before one. Right. Yep. Before and after. You can put it at an angle like this, and this really works the, 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 the hamstrings. hamstrings. It's right. amazing how much that works. It doesn't look yep. like much. But anyway, so that's an option. You just leave it there. And work it throughout the day for a few minutes each. Work both legs. Yep, every hour or so. Very good. Now, the knee's going to be feeling better. You get rid of the cane. Things are life, life is good yeah, again. Happy body. knees. Happy knees. Happy knees. Yeah. Both knees will be happy. Yeah. Very good. Uh, good luck with those knees. And, uh, good luck to you. Be careful. <laughs>